everybody. I hope you're having a great weekend and school hasn't overwhelmed your children or you. It's a new month, so you know what that means. It's time for a book review. And this month, I'm actually doing a review of one of my favorite books from one of my all-time favorite authors. And yeah, that is Absolute Surrender by Andrew Murray. I know you can't see the screen too good because of the glare, so I'll take a picture of the screen and put it in the video at the end so you can actually see the screen of, or the cover of the book. But let me get into where this book really hits home for me. Andrew Murray was one of the most prominent theologians from the 1800s. Now, about the late, mid to late 1800s, there was a big movement within the church. A lot of us nowadays look at it, at it as the Pentecostal or the Holiness Movement. And the whole point behind this movement was achieving a higher relationship with God and walking and working in God's power. There was a movement within that movement called the Keswick Movement. movement. And again, this whole movement was about taking your relationship with God to a higher level. Now, Andrew Murray was one of the, the teachers during that time that he wasn't anti-Keswick. He was more of a different approach to it. Andrew Murray's approach to growing closer to God was actually more of a humble approach, more of an approach of serving God. I mean, it's the very foundation of what Jesus said. And that is, you know, he who wants to be first in the kingdom of God must be servant of all. You know, it's a message that the church and God's people really need to hear now. If we truly want to be a great nation, if we truly want to be great in this world, we have to humble ourselves. And that's the whole point behind the book, Absolute Surrender. The whole point is, we don't just come to God and give Him the parts of our lives we want. We don't say we love God. We completely surrender. I know it's a lot. It's real common to hear people say, to God, "Lord, I give you my life, I give you my dreams," but they really don't. What we really say is, "We give you our dreams, we give you our lives," but for you to do what we want, the absolute surrender is completely surrendering to God's will and doing away with our selfish ambitions, which is what the Apostle Paul told the early church. You know, we're called to put our selfish ambitions, desires, what we want aside and let God do what he wants in our lives. So absolute surrender is all about how we absolutely surrender to God's will. Not about surrendering to God to get our will, which is what a lot of people in the 21st church thinks. Oh, come to Jesus. And he will make your life glorious and give you everything you want. Yes, we do have a, I hate using this word, blessed life, but it's not in an earthly sense. It's not necessary in a give me everything I want sense. It's knowing God is with us and that his plans are better than ours. And it, if you don't really understand or grasp the concept, on this book, go back and look look at the quote from the book the intro of this video. What Andrew Murray says about emptying ourselves. We cannot receive God's best if we're still holding on to what we want. We have to absolutely and totally empty ourselves of our desires before we can ever receive God's best and God's will. And that was a tough, tough learn or teaching for me to learn 
as I was reading this book, just because for all my life I was told, you know, you come to Jesus, you know, and he will give you the desires of your heart. When actually you come to Jesus and he gives you a new heart. That's, that was the whole cry of, of King David, Lord. Give me a new heart. Now, the thing is, if God gives you a new heart, he gives you a new life because our heart is what keeps us alive. So, if God's given us that new heart, then our desires are going to change, what we want is going to change, how we serve God is going to change, how we serve the community is going to change. So you don't achieve greatness, you don't achieve what you want and then give God the glory. You humble yourself. God gets the glory when we absolutely and completely Surrender and then let him do what he's going to do because if we can work it out in our strength if we can if we can achieve our Wants and desires in our strength Then we're not doing God's will. We're doing our wills our, our will and Attaching it to God and trying to attach name God's name to it and I did that a lot when I first got back in the church my like God If you bless me with this if you give me what I want, if you give me this career, if you give me this relationship, then I will give you the glory. Glory. But how does it glory give God the glory? How does it glorify God if I'm getting what I want? God is glorified when He does what He wants, and that is what absolute surrender really, really, really leads and teaches readers how to do it was a life-changing book for me like if you know anything about me you know i'm a huge fan of angie murray and the classic church teachers when i say classic i'm talking about charles spurgeon martin luther these guys were part of the reformer reformers of the church these guys took the church from being what it used to be back with Catholicism to what it is now. And one of the big things about Angie Murray is he was real big on the ministry of being a Christian. He was real big on real big on serving his community. He was real big on serving the people outside of his community. He wasn't focused on getting a lot of head knowledge. He wasn't focused on growing his church. He was focused on doing kingdom work. In order to do that, he teaches you have to absolutely surrender to God. Again, I cannot say enough about Andrew Murray's books. If you have not read any of Andrew Murray's books, get them on Amazon. I've got the Kindle version. You can get hard copies if you want hard copies, but they're just a little bit harder to come by. But Angie Murray is a great, great teacher and preacher from the 1800s. I think he died around the early 1900s, like 1917. So he's part of that movie. And he's, his movement is a predecessor to Billy Graham. Billy Graham was part of the Keswick movement also. And again, like Billy Graham, Andrew Murray, which is serving. Just like Jesus said, if you love your neighbor, you will serve your neighbor. You don't lower it. And this is what really bugs me about a lot of Christians today in America. You don't use your power. Jesus made it clear, we don't use our power or position to rule over others, to get what we want. That's how the world works. We're not supposed to act like that. So that's a little message in and of itself. Sorry if I went off on a tangent, but I cannot say enough about Andrew Murray and his books. Again, I'll put a picture of the cover at the end of this video for you to see. Have a great weekend, y'all. Hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what let me know what you're reading and how your summer went, what what you read over the summer. This was an old read for me. I read this book a few years ago. 
when I was going through all of Andy Murray's work. His first book that I read was Humility, then it was Abiding in Christ, and then Absolute Surrender. And there are a couple other books that I still want to read by him. But again, have a great weekend, y'all. Leave a comment and let me know what you're let me know what you're reading. Bye bye, y'all.